Good morning, good morning to another fantastic deck. I'm Riven and there is a lot of snow outside and it's really cold. So let's do a drag up all the VMAX deck for the Vivid Voltage era. Uh, like it's really cold and I don't like this. I, I, I'm not a fan of snow, okay? Alright, so, the Dragapult VMAX, we all know the deck, we all know the card, 130 damage, and you're putting 5 damage counters on, uh, well, however you want, on your opponent's benched Pokemon. It's a stage 2, uh, stage 1, excuse me, stage 1 with a 320 HP, with big charm of 350, which is a good amount of HP, of course, the damage, well, that is, you know, that varies on uh, what you think about, you know, one shotting something, two shotting something, or more of a preparation, because this is a deck that wants to prepare your opponent's bench for those knockouts. And also the tech that we will be using here is, of course, the Clee Fable with the Prankish ability. And that is uh, the card that actually bounces back, kind of, your opponent's energy to the top of their deck. So if they prepared something uh, for the next turn, you know what they're gonna draw. If they have no cards in hand, you know what they're gonna draw. So that is definitely an interesting idea and we've touched uh, upon this in Darkness Ablaze. So now I'm taking this version to the Vid Voltage and it's super simple deck, right? You have that, you have the Clee Fable. Uh, we also have, of course, the baby Blazeful on right here because once our Dragapult VMAX is knocked out, we can use uh, the Firework Bombs straight away because our opponents will have three prize cards remaining so you can finish them off with those 12 damage counters so let's take a look at the whole deck i think it's a super fun deck um definitely needs a bit more refining but we got a weekend for that right so uh let's go card by card here so we got 16 pokemons 34 trainer cards and 10 energy cards of course this is all about control ish your opponent's side so you'll see a lot of errors you'll see a lot of many things no i am not uh for banning amas i think you know they're okay here so two zigzagons for the extra damage counter that you want to put. We got two Dedenes, one Baby Blaze Flan uh, with the Fireworks Bomb, uh, right this one. We got 2-2 two, two line of Cleefairy Cleef Fable and 3-2 line of Dragapult V and V Max with the Mew to protect your own bench and the Fioni to keep switching your opponent's active Pokemon. Then we have, of course, four Crashing Amas, two Evolution Instances and one Ordinary Rod. And going down, we even have three Pokemon Community Applications three quick balls. I know we're not playing four, we're playing three here, and it's a nice amount, uh, and it does work, right? Because we don't have like super big bench, we just want the pieces that will help us win. Uh, one reset stamp, three scoop up nets that will go depending on the situation. On the Clee Fable, if you want, you know, bounce that energy back to the top of your opponent's deck, or onto a zigzagon to add those damage counters. Because it might be like you need 10, 20 damage uh, to win the game to get the knockout. Two switches, one tool scrapper to, after, uh, to of course get rid of uh, air balloons, to get rid of um, uh, charms, right, all of that stuff. Two turbo patches and they are mainly to get energy on the baby blaze. Sometimes I use it for the baby, uh, for the baby, for the Dragapult V, but mainly Blazephalon, right? Then, of course, we got two Vernon Forests to search for the Psychic type energy, two Boss Orders, three Marnie, four Research, one Air Balloon, and this Air Balloon goes right here on the Dragapult V Max, and of course, four Horror with six Psychic type energies. That is it, that is a whole deck, uh, card by card. So I think now we can move on to the gameplay portion and see exactly how the deck runs. So let's just go. And of course, deck list is gonna be on Discord probably later today. And yeah, we're doing Pokken now right here on the channel. So I hope you're gonna tune in to Pokken as well. So let's move on to the gameplay portion. Let's get off of, of that. Throughout my competitive years in Magic, I don't want that in, in, in Pokemon. I think the things that they should have been taken from other games. Um, I think the other things that should have been taken from, from, from other games definitely are better launcher. <laughs> so P02, you know, um, maybe a season pass. Why not? I wouldn't be mad at that. Like a nice progression with a season pass, you know, go for it. I can support it. Um, better support for local stores. And maybe not printing those types of cards. 
that you know they can like ADP but I feel like those are the problems there because like in terms of product they're, they're releasing it's really good especially it's new players friendly right mm. By the way, just a thought. Imagine this happens and we actually have a counter card that you can counter only crushing armors or only cards with armor in the, in the name. There is only one deck that would play four of them and would benefit the most. And it's exactly the one I'm playing against. Because, <laughs> like, literally... Of course, control decks would be you know, also annoying, but, like, imagine that. Like, ADP would play four and would not even look back. It's like, yep, that's what we have right now. And that's the format. Right? <laughs> oh boy. I mean, that would be something, let me tell you. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Lev. I think, you know, DCE would... I don't know, I feel like instead of trying to, to do something, like, crazy, they should just, you know, slowly be like, okay, you know what? There was this thing, you know, that happened in 2020. Um, no worlds, nothing. Let's change the format for 2021 and 2. So, rotation is going to be even weirder. And... Let's go back to uh, the cards that, well, do not require hundreds of, of energy. Uh, they don't have like millions of HP. Let's just go back. Hey, I'm saying hello. Good morning. Okay. So I think that that's the one I really disagree with with Dark Phoenix. Did he, uh, 22, he's still 22. <laughs> I know, he's TCG, but he's a great guy. Okay. Uh, let me go... Cleafable. So this means I'm gonna bounce his energy. Okay. So that's a, that's what he's gonna top deck. And let's focus like that. I would honestly like to see more of a synergizing stuff. Like cars that are working together because they are from, let's say, the same team. Like Team Magma, Team Aqua. Let's do, like, Team Skull. Right? Let's do, you know, other teams. And those cards would, like, synergize with each, with each other. Yeah, yeah, we talked about it yesterday. Yes, I've heard about it. Like, that's why we're talking about what, what can future bring, right? Because, like, yeah, that is a V-Union. Um, but on the other hand, like, how this is going to work? Is Are those fusion cards? Is there something else? Are they bringing back breaks? Maybe something else, you know, right? With still uh, more questions than uh, than actual, actual answers, right? Let's just do a switch. 
dead end, eh? Let's go for it. Hmm. Okay, so that's gonna be my next turn. All right. Yeah, I mean, I could, we'll see, right? Uh, as it uh, unfolds. The next time an energy would be discarded from uh, one of your Pokémon because uh, one of your opponent attacks, you may discard energy from. Hmm. Okay, so that's a boss old. I think we're just getting that ADP. Yep. GG. Thanks for playing ADP, mate. Yeah. There we go. It's always good to take six prize cards during one turn. Love it. But yeah, like that's right. And I would also love to see back cards like if all your mons are from... You know what? No. Leave it. You know what I want to see? Because we've talked about it and I forgot about it and I just remembered. I want something that is... Um... Magic in, in, in the sense is like, you got the tier 1 deck, this is a tier 1 deck, learn uh, learned the matchups of it, and that's it. And again, this comes from a guy, you know, that actually did play a ton of Magic, I went to uh, Grand Prix, have my playlist from those Grand Prix, I just have Magic cards right here. And, yeah. I recorded a lot of Magic, like in a day we've went to, to, to like higher ranks, I think it was cool. Uh, I don't think it's gonna ruin Pokemon. But yeah, like if, if you want it, if you want magic, uh, of course there are there's plenty of codes that you can put for free to have a lot of of cards. Uh, don't forget to have a bank account with enough zeros uh, and to afford the cards. Like in magic, like once you get a tier one deck, you just stick with it. Like if you want to be deck building, oh yeah, that is rough. Um. Online, of course, online. Because they have the system of, like, you know, creating cards. Okay. Come on, I need... Peanuts. I'm sorry, mate. Like, I don't... I am not BMing. I am really looking for energy at this point. Um, I really am. Don't get mad at me. I am really looking for energy. Okay. Got it. No worries. Oh boy. Alright. Um, I'm like, in terms of magic, I feel like you have to like it. You have to really, like, enjoy it. Yeah, like, that was a great 100 coins. I'm happy about the 100 coins here. See, like, magic you have to like, you have to enjoy it. Um... I don't enjoy IRL magic. Can I submit the deck I want you to play? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, DM me the deck. Because I saw um, you guys helped Ben with his deck. So, like, I'm, I'm not going to get into that. But, yeah. Um, here's the check my deck out. And, yeah, like, after war, after I'm going to, you know, finish with this one, I'm going to move to the yours. Sure. I mean, as long as you're as you're keeping magic online. It's on Discord, and it is of course uh, the same as here. It's literally the same as here. So I feel like you know, in terms of magic, um, keeping it only online, it's okay. But IRL, I can't go to events. Like, literally, people are too toxic. It's insane. But at the same time, you know, I still feel like, you know, pros or guys from Pro League knowing months, like, or even like two months in advance, what cards are gonna get banned. Because that was like a huge deal last year. Uh, we've talked about it. Was, was, was a bit too much for me. I was like, uh, you know.
<laughs> okay, research. So he's not going to be the one that's hitting the bench, so I can just do that. Uh, I have horror energy, that's why um, if it is only searching for basic and you only see five. Yeah, I might need Mew. I mean, it's simple, you know, I don't have that much time to sit down to it. Like, I have, like, actual job still. And I'm, I am not a fan of, of, of stream avatars. Like, I have no place to put them. I would have to change the whole thing, the whole layout. For VGC stuff, yeah, I can do that. But for this, they'll be here at the bottom. All right, I see it. Um... Right, so like I don't have that much time to like, you know, really sit down to the decor of it, and if I'm not like, you know, into the idea... Okay, absolute rule, extra rule, okay. Witch deck request. What deck you requested, Sandy? Right, does that kind of work still? I am surprised to be honest uh, that it does still work. Like I remember you said something. Um, it's on my list, but I said I don't have a card. No, 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 no. But I remember. I remember now. I remember telling you I just don't have the card. Because you said Alakazam, and I said I don't have enough cards to pull off Alakazam. That's on my list here uh, from you. And I'm not angry, come on. Okay. Oh yeah, this works, ah, I must, must mess it up. This works on an active. Peanuts. Vile Plume. I'm gonna see if I have Vile Plumes, but again, I don't think I have Vile Plumes. And the one that's like... Because the thing is, you know, okay, I, I know I'm doing a lot of weird decks. Hey, Gritchari, morning, mate. But like, there are ideas that... Ah. See, I, gotta, I think I gotta get rid of that request, because... Yeah, I have two. And it's... You know... More than happy to help you with the expanded deck. Oh. Alright. We are versus Joker. Oh boy, um, so after a few games, okay, give him like a few games and then, because if I'm going to go now into trading, um, yeah, I'm going to get lost in opening packs, and I, I, I don't want to lose Rama here, because <laughs> I know my own luck, which is really good recently in terms of like opening stuff.
Okay. So let's try it out. Come on. Well, it's kind of funny, you know. Is that like eight euros for uh, Amazing Rare Zacian? Like you would think it would be more, right? Hmm. Okay. Hey, Charismatic. Hello. How are we doing today? <laughs> How are we feeling? Are we doing good? Are we doing fantastic? Just like that. Just like... Maybe tomorrow. It might be tomorrow. Just like that. I'm doing amazing. Thank you so much for asking. I'm doing really good. Um, Alright. Janky, what was uh, Prism? Because I don't want to... Uh, pr something with Prism. I remember that. Right? No. Forbidden Prism. There you go. You see, I, I remember that. And there you have it, another fantastic deck, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoy what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe channel, like, it really does help, especially on this road to 1,900 uh, and to 2,000 subscribers, it does really help. And yeah, for everyone who subbed, thank you so much, really, thank you. For everyone who's joining us on Twitch, thank you so much, and down there below, 5% discount, and you can do the purchase on Professor Oak, which does support the channel, thank you guys so much. Goodbye, good night, have a fantastic day. As would K Omega say, goodbye, mwah, and good night. Bang. <laughs> Take care, bye, and please stay safe.